GA maintenance, tonsillectomy. The child is supine on the operating table, self-ventilating through the ray tube. Anesthesia is maintained with vapour in nitrous oxide and oxygen. Monitoring is stable with 100% saturations. The child is now positioned for surgery with a roll under the shoulders. Check tube position and stability of patient during and after repositioning. The surgeon inserts the Boyle Davis mouth gag and opens it to expose the pharynx. Observe breathing or gently ventilate. There may be breath holding, tube dislodgement, disconnection or compression. If any of these occur, tell the surgeon the gag can be released and reapplied if necessary. The gag is secured and the operation starts. This is stimulating. Increase the vapour concentration and give analgesia. In a self-ventilating technique, keep the vapour concentration high and carefully give IV analgesia titrated to respiratory rate. Closely watch the patient, reservoir bag and monitoring at all times. The surgeon ensures hemostasis and inspects the nasopharynx with a mirror to ensure there is no clot remaining. This is essential as waking the patient up with such a clot can cause fatal airway obstruction, the coroner's clot. The surgery is nearly completed. Give intravenous analgesia and antiemetics as required. Maintain close monitoring and prepare for emergence and extubation.